Hey, what's up, big Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get any application or emulator on your iOS device without a jailbreak. But this does require a computer. Now I know a lot of you all don't have access to computers and wanna learn how to get all this awesome stuff on your iOS device without a computer. And for that, I have a playlist that you can check out right here. So if you don't have a computer, check out this playlist here and see if there's anything you like there. However, as I mentioned, this tutorial does require a computer and I hope you all are excited for that. So if you wanna learn how to get your favorite applications or emulators on your iOS device for free, without a jailbreak, then hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously and I truly appreciate it. But now, without any further ado, let's head into the tutorial. Quickly, before this video begins, I would like to mention that this video is sponsored by Best Fiends Forever, the newest game in the Best Fiends trilogy. It has the same characters and the same story, but it's a totally different kind of game. Now, I never played any of the previous Best Fiends games, however, I picked up Best Fiends Forever and I've really started to enjoy it. It's an addictive clicker adventure game where you slap, collect, and level up pretty much everything in the game while trying to get as far as you can as fast as you can. I highly recommend that you all check out this game by following the link in the description or the card on screen. It's completely free and super fun to play. As I've mentioned, I've really been enjoying it. And if you guys have some free time and want to try out a new game, I highly recommend this one as well as they are the sponsor of this video and I would not be able to continue to make videos if it was not for them. So show them some support by checking out the game and I'm sure you'll like it. So with all that being said, let's get into the tutorial. All right, getting Cydia Impactor and installing your favorite applications is very simple, but as I mentioned earlier, it does require a computer. So get on your computer, Go to your favorite web browser and type in the URL iEmulators.com forward slash IPA as well as I'll have a link to that in the description below. Here you'll find a ton of your favorite applications that are available on iEmulators available for download as an IPA file which is what we need in order to use Cydia Impactor. And to get Cydia Impactor, go to CydiaImpactor.com, which will also be linked in the description below, and download Cydia Impactor for your computer's software. So I'm using a Mac, I'm gonna download Cydia Impactor and install it onto my computer by opening the file and moving it to the applications folder. Now doing this on any other computer software like Windows or Linux is pretty simple. I'm sure you all know how to install something. So go ahead and install the program connect your iOS device to your computer and open Cydia Impactor. Now, once you have Cydia Impactor open, it's pretty much the same for all computers. You'll get a little application like so, and all you have to do is get the IPA file you downloaded, in my case was INDS, and drag it into the Cydia Impactor. It'll ask you for your Apple ID and password. Just go ahead and put that in and make sure it's the Apple ID and password that's on your iOS device or else this will not work because when you try to open it, it'll say untrusted developer. So you have to trust your own developer certificate, which is under your Apple ID and password. And to do so, head to settings, general profiles or device management find your Apple ID and then go ahead and trust a certificate for the application you downloaded. And just like that, you now have access to any of the applications that you've downloaded and installed via City Impactor. The only downside to this is that these applications only last for seven days. So after seven days, they will stop to work and you'll have to repeat the process in order to make the application work again. So if you are going to do this, just keep that in mind but it's not too lengthy of a process and it's not that big of a deal to do every seven days. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please hit that like button as well as share some other cool IPAs that you find in the comment section below for others to test and try out. I know there's awesome IPAs like Pokemon Go Hacked and other things like that. So if you're interested in getting those, ask around in the comment section and I'm sure you'll find some. 
But with all that being said, make sure to check out Best Fiends Forever, the sponsor of this video, in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.